Some people look at YouTubers and think they have made it. What could be better than making videos about what you love? In 2015, YouTuber Cletus McFarlane did just that, taking the online gearhead scene by storm. If you mix Rawlings with Mr. Beast and just a hint of Top Gear, you get Cletus's extremely popular channel. But here's the kicker. Cletus isn't his real name. Much of Cletus McFarlane's persona is exaggerated for the sake of his brand. Several people make the channel what it is, but who's the main man behind the character? Where did he come from? Why doesn't he use his real name? Welcome back to Tuna No Crust, the biggest channel about car shows on YouTube. Before we get into Cletus's background, be sure to like, subscribe, and stick around for our usual icebreaker in the comments. He was born on April 5th, 1995 in Omaha, Nebraska. His mother and father were Lori Edward Mitchell and Mark Mitchell. Sometimes, his grandma shows up in his videos, but we couldn't find her name anywhere. Please post in the comments if you know. He maintains good connections with his relatives, especially his mom. Unlike many of the other celebrities we look at, Mitchell's dream was never to be the world's best mechanic. He wanted to be a talk show host like Jay Leno. In his own words, that's my biggest thing. I want to make people smile and laugh. But he definitely enjoyed cars and fishing as hobbies as early as 2009, probably earlier. Despite his interests, Mitchell went to the University of Tampa to become a lawyer. Along with studying law, Mitchell had a part-time job. He managed social media for a group called 1320 Video. That name might ring a bell, even if you don't know why. So here's a quick refresher. 1320 Video is all about shooting street races. They started as amateur filmmakers but got good enough at what they did to cover larger and larger events. And if you look at their site today, they do a lot of branding and merchandising. At only 16 years old, Mitchell ran their Instagram page. He saw how powerful this relatively new platform could be. But one video changed everything. On July 14th, 2015, 1320 Video's YouTube channel posted a video of Cletus Murica McFarlane and his modified Chevy 3000 horsepower Camaro. In a thick southern accent, he talks about the modifications he made, including a carbon fiber hood and turbos for the trailer. We'll put a carbon fiber hood on it, some big old drag radial tires so that I don't have traction issues. See the turbos on the trailer? Those are going on tomorrow. The laughter in the background makes it clear that nobody is taking this too seriously. Mitchell might not have known he was being filmed, but judging by how he was acting, he was either aware, drunk, or a little bit of both. God damn, I love America. <laughs> <laughs> that video went viral. Using what he had learned on the job, Cletus took the idea to the next level. He began turning his YouTube channel, which already had a few drifting, burnout, and fishing videos, into an optimized machine. This channel was so successful that he dropped out of law school roughly a year and a half into the program. So, what makes this YouTube channel stand out from the rest? First, note that it's not his first rodeo. He had experience editing videos for someone else before going solo. He also had several videos up before the clip that would shoot him to internet fame. It's hard to summarize exactly what Cletus McFarlane's channel is about besides cars. Golly! Blown big block, I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> he easily jumped it. Dude! Oh my gosh, it's the best day of my life. Cletus's channel does a lot of the same things you expect from car shows. Turn older cars, mostly GMs, into masterpieces, test them, and race them but he also does a lot more than that. Like Top Gear, he likes pushing his cars to their limits. These sometimes result in intense burns, such as the kind Peter Whitlock suffered in November 2020. He also has videos dedicated to blowing stuff up. If he hasn't broken anything, he hasn't tried hard enough. We are done. The engine just blew up. Just blew the engine, guys. Along with car videos, he does live streams, pranks, and other forms of content. Some of it is on his second channel. We'll link them both in the description below. The desire to entertain is strong with this one. That said, it sometimes shows that he's not the best mechanic. People have gotten hurt, including Cletus himself. While nothing major has happened to him, a stray fidget spinner injured his arm in one episode. Oh, oh! 
Oh my gosh! Oh, I got smoked! And the unfortunate incident in 2020 reminded everybody of the importance of fireproof suits. Usually, the pranks are harmless. Nobody was eaten by the T-Rex on the track. Cletus is nonetheless dedicated to his work. He also allowed more people to help him make the best show possible. James Tall and Cooper Baghetti help him make entertaining videos almost every day. There's a whole team behind Cletus. As his channel grew, Cletus realized they needed something more. He wanted to race his creations without risking the streets or waiting for an official race. What's a guy to do? Buy his own racetrack, of course. Before you all do a double take, consider the logistics of this purchase. One, yeah, it's a lot of money. $2,295,000,000 to be precise was the asking price. In exchange, Cletus and his crew got a playground for every crazy car idea they had. And since YouTube content creation cannot wait for anyone, having his own space to test all those things will help his channel for years to come. What was the racetrack before Cletus took it over, you may ask? Well, it was so-called DeSoto Speedway and was a functional racetrack for over 40 years. Many people came to watch Friday and Saturday night races under the lights until one night in March 2017, which changed everything. During a race, one of the best drivers of all time, Dave Steele, lost his life due to a horrific accident during a race. After that horrible loss, the track was forced to reevaluate the track and its condition. Given this incident, the aging track in need of repairs and the owners aging, they came together one last time in November 2018 to say goodbye to the track. And in 2020, it was sold to the new redneck owner, Cletus McFarland. Better still, if you happen to be in Florida, the racetrack is open to the public. Cletus wants everyone to see his awesome cars in action. Some people even visit Florida just to see Cletus. You can buy tickets for some of the events on his website. Mind, he had a lot of help buying the Freedom Factory. His sponsors included Motion Raceworks, a site that sells parts and makes tech tip videos on YouTube, Texas Speed and Performance, another part supplier, Holly, a brand that also has its own YouTube channel, and Nitto Tire, which makes tires. Other sponsors may also have been involved. It's still impressive that he got that much money for a testing ground. But how did he get the following and sponsors to buy an entire racetrack in the first place? We're going to let you in on some, but not all, of what makes a YouTube channel a hit. The most important tip is that people like consistency. Cletus posts content almost daily. You don't have to go that far, especially if you're new, but you do need to be consistent. People like having something new to watch, and they like knowing when to expect it. Cletus's content hasn't changed much since that one famous video, even if the channel as a whole has grown to focus more on cars, so points there too. He also knew what he wanted his persona to be. He took a Florida redneck personality and amplified it. The name Cletus sounds more like a redneck name to most Americans than Garrett, probably thanks to The Simpsons. You'd never guess that he went to law school. He clearly put that childhood dream of making people laugh into Cletus' character. Cletus and his crew put a ton of work into every episode. An interview in Drag Illustrated mentions how important it is to make good content. Even if a video gets a lot of views, it could be a flash in the pan if the video itself is low quality. They realize that people come back for good content. Finally, Cletus Sir Garrett was very good at developing his brand. From that video on, he had set his casual car kit from Florida brand into motion. He rented shop space. This created a home base for all of his projects, which he and his crew eventually grew out of. He was always focused on a casual, friendly gearhead atmosphere, even as things blew up around him. Here's a little secret. Merchandising is advertising. It's a great way to find other fans and share what you like without needing to say anything. But merchandising is essential for YouTubers, and not just because it gets the word out. YouTubers often make hundreds of thousands, if not millions, every month from merchandising alone. Getting just one of his $10 key tags means more to his channel than you might think. Cletus is always pushing the envelope on what he can do to promote his brand and have some fun in the process. He began his racing career in 2022 and was pretty good. Even though he lost his first race in April, he came back and seized first place with his beloved Chevrolet El Camino, Mullet, in November. That's how you turn your passion into a career. That said, despite making a lot of things blow up, Cletus and his friends are doing fine. He has a fiancé, 
Madison Lutz, and proposed to her on April 4, 2021. They had a son, Ripper, in 2022. The couple frequently shares pictures of their two dogs, Holly and Skiff, as well as other snapshots of their lives on Instagram. You can follow them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and of course, YouTube. He wants to stay independent, so keep watching his channel for more high-quality content. After seeing where Cletus came from, do you think you could run your own YouTube channel? What would it be about, and what would you do that's unique? Also, could you picture Garrett Mitchell as a lawyer when he's so entertaining to watch? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching to the end, and don't forget to like and subscribe before flying off to Florida.